hello my beautiful Sagittarius welcome to my channel this is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today I'm gonna do a mid-april reading also I'm gonna leave a link up here and in the description box below if you would like a private reading from me you can just go ahead and book your reading from there this reading is intended for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. And um, by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. Let's jump into your reading and let's see what is coming your way. Okay, I see some tears of joy actually falling out. There's a path opening here for you. It seems like it's going to be happening real soon. I kind of see like a lava lamp at the end. This can also be seen as a person waiting for you. Okay. There is a conversation happening here about this path. Maybe you're planning it, that's discussing it. The discussion might be happening with maybe the place that you're working with or somebody that you have in your life. And lava lamp can indicate that it is a trip for fun. It's not going to be record like a travel. And the person waiting for you can be someone that you planned this out with already, okay? Because they're visible here. So this can be someone um, or you tr traveling to go see somebody who's been waiting for you, okay? There's a contract right here. There's another one right there. I don't know if this is related to your job or can be even related to the recent purchases that you're going to be planning to like doing, making. And um, I see there's a letter C in the middle of your heart. It kind of looks like a crescent moon. It doesn't have like the pointy ends here. C can be Cecilia or like maybe Corey in someone's first name or the last name. doesn't have to be their initials. I also see, like I said, right after this legal paper, there is a path opening here. And there's someone smiling or maybe even laughing like really big with open mouth. Let's put these together. This can be also, I see a horseshoe here. Horseshoe can be a desire that you have is actually coming with um, good luck, okay? We're bringing you good luck or maybe something, someone that you have in your life is going to be bringing you good luck. There's a sign of massive luck here. Um, the path opening is actually aligning with the path going outside. So this can be a short trip that you're going to be taking in order to prepare for this long trip okay maybe doing like shopping uh, packing or like getting required necessary paperwork done maybe visas this legal paper can be indicative of that and afterwards you are actually going to you know, there's a second paper and the travel here okay after you come back probably this person's smiling here they have a butterfly in one eye uh, bird which looks like a dove in another eye and there's a sword right under them sword can symbolize an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius energy here and this bird can be the good news that you're going to be receiving from this pe person and the butterfly in their eye can indicate that this person is going through a metamorphosis they're changing what just came to my mind is this can be someone that you have in your life, a family member, a friend, maybe having a hard time. Can be with their financials because I see a chunk of money right there. Um, they are probably going through a time that they are fixing this up. And um, because it's attached to your path, maybe you're going to be hearing from them before you go to this travel or... Um, they're going to be, I don't know if they're going to be coming with you or they're going to be supporting you. And um, like it is going to be related, connected. Okay. There is a, actually a second legal paperwork here. This can be a contract, a plane ticket, um, maybe an offer that you're going to be getting, a job offer. I don't see a ring here, but ring usually indicates a romantic um, commitment as well. But doesn't have to be any of that i see three heads inside of this contract three heads can be the three people setting this up maybe like lawyer accountant real estate broker if you're planning to buy a house 
can be something a clean paper coming off maybe if you're going through a health problem this can be a clean paper coming from your doctors the three of like the consul they're sitting down and maybe assessing that there's a phone line forming here they're probably going to get in touch with it via phone they're gonna tell you through this on the phone okay I see there's a mask right under here. There are two people standing on top of it. One of them looks like a tall male figure who has a crescent, one on the top of their head, wearing a massive hat. The smaller one looks like uh, another male figure, but this male figure is younger. I see a letter S now here. You can see. And they are at the end of a path here. So this can be related to another travel it seems like there are many paths opening in front of you the paths also can represent opportunities okay this can be like an owner of the company with their assistant they're appearing here they have this like wide path in front of them maybe this is your energy you are going after a goal a desire that you have and um you are actually um you know going after this thing and you have a support behind you but the hat that you're wearing has the crescent moon can be like finding something legal in there like finding getting legal advice because it's on top of your head i feel like this is something um you know it's something that you know well okay you're not jumping into this thing that without knowing any details you know well how this is going to turn out you know very well how this is going to be working out for you okay i see there are two different paths are also opening in front of you that are going to be traveling in the meantime there is a beautiful cup here and fish is jumping inside the cup here and um shooting star is also coming down Fish can be representative of money. The shooting star can be representative of your heart's desire. Okay, the cup is emotionally fulfilling new offer, a romantic thing, a new beginning. So what is happening here is um, probably the financials are going to be mixing up in this thing. But there can also be um, an opportunity of starting a new love coming forth or maybe fixing up whatever that you have in your life. Okay, we don't really have... Now, three of cups, the three cups here. I see two cups. Oh, now there's the three cups, okay? Three cups can indicate reconciliation. Maybe someone from the past coming back and apologizing, maybe offering you something good, and they might want to, you know, start a new thing. And um, might involve the fish we can interpret here as the commitment, the ring that you're going to be getting, okay? There are two more paths here, but this path looks like two people here. These two people can be um, coming from long distance, long distance path that you're going to be connecting. And there's a third path and one person here is not happy. Okay, it seems like you're going to have a lot of back and forth travel. The people are going to be coming to see you. You're going to be going to have some off time for yourself but at the same time in the meantime you might actually get, come across with people they're not happy with their life and can actually reflect that onto you i don't think this is related to you because it seems like you're having everything is working out very good i see here you're riding a jet ski basically looks like a fish as well and this looks like an arrow arrow is the symbol of sagittarius which is the warrior queen a warrior king that goes after their desires and um super lucky like if you haven't really hit the jackpot of sagittarius yet um it is probably like coming or maybe you have a blockage in your mind but sagittarius tend to be super lucky when it comes to manifestation it just fall onto their lap most of the time like they don't have to go after run after things okay and it seems like you are here having fun while you're enjoying yourself the jet ski I see here can be a massive fish that you're guiding, a massive amount of money coming in. You're also going to be launching yourself forward to this goal that you have, this desire that you have, okay? I even see a person here, kind of reminded me of Seven of Pentacles, who has like a cup in their hand and a hammer, 
maybe like working on a cup or like a, like a ceramic cup they're building or maybe they're just nailing something down here okay um this can be a taurus virgo or a capricorn energy also so no i said seven of pentacles eight of pentacles eight of pentacles actually indicates that um it is time for you to learn a new thing this new thing can be related to something you always wanted to do maybe an art form it can be a subject that keeps like bugging you which is something that um can be a profession in the future and um seems like it's going to be coming falling into your lap too you can see is like this massive information this like a paper here and there are like one two three people even appearing maybe you can even find guidance to show you how these things are working and maybe get more information about it or expand your knowledge whatever it is that you need it's going to be falling into your lap with the shooting star also okay all right my beautifuls let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be for that one there's a tears of joy just fell out unexpected good news coming there is a person in your heart space here your desire is coming forward but it has some time it's not rushing its way towards you it has some time we had a person here now we still have that person this is in your home letter m is visible as mary matthew magdalene i don't know if that's like a common name though um abraham so and i also see like two windows here opening up okay somebody's standing in between you can even see like three triangles here one two and three three triangles three of swords triangle i think is a swords energy this can be like uh someone going through heartbreak in your home okay and you are there to support them i see the sun here this is the symbol of the sun right there sun indicates a leo energy okay uh, maybe you are here like experiencing some heartbreak and actually healing from that and also this leo energy can be a new energy coming forward a new person coming forward to you know appreciate and share that moment with you also another thing with the leo it is the lion that you are maybe going through a challenge right now but you're taming that lion you're gaining a new experience you're learning a new thing and discovering something new about yourself maybe that you deep down buried in there and that is actually blocking you to grow and um, manifest all your heart's desires and that is going to the light will be shining upon that okay it is buried you can see like i said again it is buried but you are going to reflect light into it and you're going to overcome and just you know take that out of take it out there and figure out whatever it is i see the dark dark usually symbolizes a mother figure that is supporting of you but this is not in the family this is someone that is in your life and that has a big head here it's not a small symbol this person is going to show up. They're going to be supporting you here while you go through this heart pain, heartbreak, whatever it is that while you're letting it go, what you're learning from there, they're going to be right there for you, okay? And maybe this is the person that caused that in your heart. This person has like a headdress, kind of like a shamanic um, or maybe Native American headdresses, okay? Someone maybe also knowledgeable and... um can be like uh, knowledgeable people also can be the advice givers you, this might be someone that you're going to be getting advice from also it doesn't have to be uh, someone that hurt you specifically maybe you are really like trying to solve resolve something this can be the guidance that you're going to be receiving here okay i see there's a feminine character here she's looking upwards she's not in your house you know in your heart however they are actually appearing here too and staring at you might be someone an outside observer but she just took my attention to this massive whale this big fish the opportunity of money coming forward as well so like i said probably whatever this thing is it is blocking some blessings to come to you or you are like feeling like that thing is 
uh, maybe like scaring you from like expressing yourself, creating these new blessings in your life. So it seems like here with this um, women got my attention. She might get your attention as well. Can I see a letter here? Mm. There's a letter I under her and she's inside of like a U. U right there or a V, like a Victoria. So she might actually catch your attention as well. Maybe whatever that she's looking at you, whatever she's admiring at you can be your source of that massive whale, massive abundance. And uh, them staring at you can actually, staring, maybe observing, talking to you and pointing it out is going to actually point your direction towards that talent that you have. Maybe even you're going to start to take some action with that talent, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Four of Wands. Okay, what's going on? Everybody's celebrating at this time. Fire energy. Um, Leo had the same card. You're going to be celebrating something. Good news, a wedding, something that will actually uh, upgrade your uh, vibration, put you in a joyful state and a celebratory state. We have the Six of Swords symbolizes walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore and it's in a good sense because you're going from choppy waters to this calmer shores this beautiful sunshine is waiting for you there and this angels are actually like on in front of you like your guidance are the angels your guidance is divine so if you're walking away from a situation that doesn't serve you anymore you are actually uh, being guided by your ancestors and angels. We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles can symbolize teamwork, that you are coming together with like-minded, a little bit different. You can see these tiles. Two of them are the same. One of them is different right there. So you might be coming together with people. Some of them are like you. Some of them are not like you. Okay? And that's what makes the things perfect here. I also have Ace of Cups, the star, and also, I usually pull two, but the third one comes through, so I'm going to pull two, the Magician card. So you might be getting something, an offer, emotionally fulfilling, a beautiful offer here for you. That will be helping you a lot. And this is whatever it is with the star card is your wish fulfillment. This is your dream. This is what you want to happen. But this might actually open the path for you because the magician means that this is something that is going to be very fu like fulfilling, coming into your lap, falling into your lap. You're going to be experiencing that and having fun with it. And there's a second thing also coming here. But this might require you to do some work, okay? You see the magician? He is the alchemist here, has all the material in his hand to make th certain things happen. Maybe you have the right phone numbers, you have the addresses, you have uh, the information to make things happen, but you're not following that maybe. So um, one after the other, if you want the goodness to keep continuing, you might have to actually, because it's aligning with the teamwork, connect with the right people here, okay? We had Swan Queen coming forward for you. This is the um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms from Colored Baron, Baron Reed. Transformation, Intuition, and Patience comes forth here for you, number 13. The message is, the swan glides your way and asks that you look at your reflection in the events of your life. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. The Swan Queen lets you know that it is time to go within and seek the answers in your own intuition. Don't look outside yourself for answers now. The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now is the moment to meditate and ask for a vision. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you. And the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your query to find the answers you seek. This is also a reminder to allow time to transform ideas into reality. Nothing happens overnight. Another thing with the manifestation is like if you are like wanting something, then changing your mind, wanting something and changing your mind. This might also um, 
block that thing to come to you or maybe delay it like it might take a while longer than you are anticipating it so um that's why maybe this is telling you if you are feeling like something is meant for you um you did the manifestation you did your rituals you apply to the right places and you talk to the right people now it's time to just you know uh let god take it over and bring it to you okay mm -hmm. okay now we have your guidance here this is uh, from abraham hicks i am in the perfect position to get there from here Nothing has to change in your environment or in the circumstances that surround you for you to begin to deliberately allow your own connection to the stream of well-being. You're in the perfect place right now to begin. What does this mean? Sometimes if you're not listening to her, like it gets a little complicated here. This means that um, you can start from where you are. And um, it doesn't mean that you have to take massive action, do massive creative things, and you need to change the whole world around you. It means that you can just start to change one thought at a time, okay? Maybe you're not feeling confident. You can just change that. No, I'm super confident. I can make anything happen. Or maybe you're not feeling um, lovable. You can say, I am the most lovable per person. I'm here because I'm loved by the creator. I am the light, the star of this world, okay? Like, you can start from where you are. You can get there from here, exactly from where you are, you can start doing, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give us one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.